This is basically the coolest looking garbage ever. Hey guys, I'm Nate, welcome back to the workshop. You may notice that I'm sitting around in the dark today and that's because today we're gonna to be doing some experiments with glow sticks. We've got a huge selection of different glow sticks right here and we're gonna see what we can learn about them just by playing around. We'll see what happens if we open some up and really get a feel for what these things are like. What's the texture of the fluid like? Does it have a smell? Does it have a taste? What happens if we combine lots of glow sticks together? Can we pull out the separate fluid chemicals inside the glow sticks and then combine them when we're ready to have a large amount of glow? Today is the day to learn all of these things. The first step will be cracking open one of these plastic tubes and seeing what's going on inside. When I look at one of these tubes up close, I can see that there's liquid coming up to about here and just below that is what appears to be a glass vial. I'm gonna try and cut the plastic off above the level of the liquid so that when it cuts, it doesn't just leak out everywhere. All right, the top of that kind of came off pretty easily. There's definitely some liquid running out. So it may be kind of hard to see, but there's now what looks like maybe a teaspoon of clear liquid down inside this bowl, and I have a vial which sounds like it's made of glass. And I think it is because I'm pretty sure these are activated by cracking the glass vial inside the plastic tube. Has a slightly sweet smell, not like sugary sweet, but some sort of chemical sweet. Interesting. Now we've got our vial, which I think is glass. And I'm gonna see if I can crack this the same way. I'm just gonna see if our pliers can take the top off of this. Hopefully not shoot glass bits everywhere. I'm gonna cover it with my hand a little bit just so it doesn't shoot shards of glass throughout the kitchen. That sounded kind of like when you pop a Christmas light bulb. And this is also full of liquid, so let's see what happens if we pour this liquid into that liquid. I bet it starts glowing. Fun kind of swirl patterns in there when it's not mixed all the way yet. Well, that bowl's looking pretty good. It's almost acting as a little bit of a fiber optic bowl, the edges of it look like they're glowing quite a bit. So there is the contents of a single glow stick. It's not much. Like I said, that looks like it's about one teaspoon of liquid, maybe a little bit more, but not a lot. All right, now I don't know what kind of liquid this is, so I'm just gonna dip my gloved hand into it. It does feel pretty oily. This doesn't feel like a water substance on my hands. It just feels like oil. It's very slippery. Well, that was the result of getting one glow sticks worth of fluid. I kind of wonder what would happen if we got like 20 glow sticks worth of fluid together. I've got eight cups here and I'm gonna divide it out into the four different colors and the two different liquids for each color. There's no visible blue dye in this. It looks clear. I only know that it's going to be blue because the package says there is one and I already cracked some other ones open. So it looks clear at this point, but when I hit it with a black light, it glows blue. The yellow glows yellow, the green glows green. Also interesting is the activating fluid down at the bottom doesn't seem to glow at all. It looks purple on video, but that's just because the black light looks purple. It's not fluorescing the way that the vials are pink fluorescing in the black light as well. So all of the dyes and whatever else is in that vial lights up under a black light. That's pretty neat. All of our activator fluid is now harvested, so we need to crack open the glass vials and pour that into some separate cups. I'm also going to clean off each glass vial with a paper towel to get rid of the excess oil on the outside because I don't want it to start glowing before I start combining. Oh, and uh, something's already activating. We're getting some blue showing up. Maybe I need to make sure to clean off my pliers better. So this is the empty cup. I'll pour all of my blue dye glass vial fluid into here. Looks like a pretty similar consistency. This also feels oily, maybe even more oily than the other fluid. We now have our four fluids drained into four cups with the four cups of their respective activators. Let's hit this with a black light again and see how it's looking. It looked pretty good while it was in the sticks. Woo, look at that, I love that blue. Like there's no color until you hit it with the black light and then it is vibrantly, brilliantly blue. Pink, magenta, red, whatever color you wanna call that. It's, it's bright. We now have glow stick fluid out of 20 glow sticks divided up into its four different colors 
And I think it's time we start combining. I want to see what happens if we have five glow sticks worth of fluid at once in a cup. And then once we've got all four, I think we're going to see what happens if we have 20 glow sticks worth of fluid in a cup. It looks like there's a little bit more of the activator fluid than the glow fluid. Just eyeballing it, I would say it's 60% activator, 40% dye. Here goes, pouring the activator into the dye. Yeah. It's a nice bright glow. Let's do the other colors. That's a pretty great glow. I would say that the green one is definitely brighter than the other three, but all three of them are putting off some pretty good light. Let's put this in rainbow order for you slightly obsessive people out there. Now I want to see what happens if we mix them. Let's see what happens if we mix the magenta and the yellow. I wonder if we can get orange by doing that. There are orange glow sticks, and I have some of those, but I want to see if we can get orange just by mixing the magenta and the yellow. All right, let's try some pink magenta color and some yellow. Ooh, that is a really cool swirl look right there. They haven't mixed together on their own. There's little bits of orange in there, but right there it just looks like swirls of glowing fire or something. Ooh, that is mixing. And now we have orange glow fluid. That's actually interesting though. Like it doesn't look pure orange. Somehow it has like a slight green tint to it. It's thicker in some spots where it looks really orange, but kind of right behind the thick spot, there's a thin spot and that almost looks green. Oh man, we've almost got the whole rainbow here. I think we have to see if we can push that just a little farther and get purple. I'll pour off a little bit of blue, add a little bit of magenta, see if we can get a violet. Oh yeah, a glow rainbow. Well that looks pretty great, and now I think we need to combine them all together and see how they look. I don't know what color that's gonna be. Normally if you mix all these colors together, you're gonna get a murky brown, but I'm having a hard time imagining what does glowing brown look like? Let's find out. So far it just looks like fire in a cup. Curiously, all of the colors combined gave us just orange. I really thought we would lose more of that orange color. I don't know what I thought it would turn into. The blue seemed like it was so vibrant compared to the red and the yellow that I thought it would overpower it, but it hasn't. If I tilt it like this, you can see where it's thin at the back. That's what I'm talking about. That looks green in real life. It's not just a trick of the camera. Looking at this, I would say we probably have, I don't know, about half a cup, maybe a little less than half a cup of fluid. It's glowing quite nicely, very orange, which is interesting since we didn't start with any orange fluid. This is yellow, our magenta, our blue, and our green, and those combine to make bright orange. Wouldn't have guessed that. I think I know where that smell, what that smell reminds me of. If you've ever used a wasp trap, that has a liquid bait in it. It smells a lot like that liquid bait. How odd. Still pretty oily feeling. That's interesting. On my black glove, that just looks green. That's the same stuff that looks orange in the container, but smeared onto my fingers, it looks green. How odd. Well, I have to try this. It says non-toxic on the packaging. I'm not gonna swallow it, Is it lurking? Ah, I can feel it tingling on my gum. Ugh. I've heard that glow sticks will glow much brighter when they're warm and much less when they're cold. So I've got a set of glow sticks and I'm gonna set them in this cup of hot water and we'll let them heat up for a bit. After that, we'll activate them and compare that to a set of glow sticks that have been cooling down in the freezer for several minutes. On this side, we have our glow sticks which have been sitting in the freezer for about 45 minutes. And this side, we've got glow sticks that have been sitting in hot water for, I don't know, 20 minutes. So let's try cracking all eight and see which glow the best. First, the cold ones. Oh boy. It's, uh... Really not a very intense glow yet. Pink one's barely going at all. All right, now for the warm ones. Wow! Well, I'm gonna say that is confirmed. Heating it up definitely makes it put off more light. Here's our cold ones, which 
barely seem like they're glowing at all. In every case, the warm one is glowing way more than the cold one. Warmth definitely makes a difference. Cold ones, not as bright. Although it's also interesting that I believe if it's colder, it will last longer. So it won't put out as much light all at once, but over time it might put out the same amount of light. There's something floating on the top of this water and I got this cup. It was just one of the cups that had some activator in it, which makes me think that maybe the oily feel of the glow sticks isn't just in my head. Maybe it's actually an oil of some sort. So let's see what happens if we try and mix a little bit of our glow stick fluid with some water. There's a little bit of water at the bottom of that cup. Let's pour in some glow stick fluid and see what happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't mix. You can see that our glow fluid is underneath our layer of water. And interestingly, once again, it looks green. There we go, we can see the glow fluid comes up to about here, and then the water is just sitting on top of it, so the two do not mix together. Soap is an emulsifier that can often let polar and non-polar fluids bond, so let's add some of that and see if we can get them to mix. Ooh, the soap is activating with the glow fluid itself. Wow, that's getting a lot brighter, which I think is probably a result of the very warm water that I was using, which lends some support to the idea that heat will make these glow more intensely. Compare that to our other fluid. Here's the, the difference between the two at the moment. So this is putting off a lot more light after being mixed with warm water. And even with the soap, it's still separating back out mostly. Now that soap went in and it immediately started doing something really cool. I don't know what it was, but I have to try it again. So I'm gonna pour off a little bit more of our glow fluid here. I'm just gonna drip some soap in without any of the warm water this time. <laughs> that looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of when we made patterns in milk with food coloring by dripping in some liquid soap. Okay, so now it's getting even brighter, but there's no hot water in this one, so I think soap might chemically activate this stuff. Either that or it's just the stirring motion, but I think it's the soap. Now I wanna see just how bright we can get some of this to go. We know that heat makes them brighter, and it seems that adding soap makes them brighter as well. So let's take both of these fluids, let them sit in a bath of warm water for a few minutes, then combine them with a little bit of soap and see if we can just get like an ultra bright glowing lantern look. I think our two different fluid halves are ready and probably fairly warm after sitting in that. So let's take those out, let's combine them together, and then add soap and see how bright this thing gets. This is five green glow sticks worth of fluid. Ooh, that's just the warm fluids mixed together. That is already, you know, that, that's, that's the color that'll kill Superman right there. All right, let's try adding a drop of soap. Yep, that gets a lot bright. Oh my gosh, that is insanely bright. I don't think it's gonna last very long, but something about the soap pulls all of the chemical reaction into one spot, and it just, boy, that is a lantern. Check this out. Scary stories to tell at night. Gosh, that is nuts. And it doesn't last, but like it's already getting dimmer, for sure. But for just a couple of seconds, that is just exploding with brightness. We've got a ton more glow sticks, so if you've got some cool ideas of what you wanna see us do with them, let us know down in the comments. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you haven't seen our last video or you wanna watch it again, click up here at the top. Check it out down there if you wanna see what the internet thinks that you should watch next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.